21 minutes to 11. Robbie, good morning. G'day, how are you? I'm not bad. Yourself? Fantastic, outstanding and totally full of sarcasm actually. But um... Full of sarcasm, good. I'm always full of sarcasm. But I, I just had a few of my wee fan club message me and say you're talking about the bullying within the fire stations. Well, you know, yes. like fire service. I've, yes. I, I spent eight years-ish with the uh, fire service and um, I didn't see the bullying so much but it was just, there's, there's a couple of different things in the whole conversation is they um, basically from you know, from what I see the more beer, you know like the old man, you know, the boys club sort of thing, the more you could stay at the bar and have a beer with them at the end of the night, the quicker you got your stripes on your shoulders and I think it was a bit of an old boys network, was it? The more you uh, were one of the one of the clips, you got the pro promotion, got the progress. Yeah, ex that, that, that's exactly right. And I went out with one particular person three times in a tanker, and I said to him, "Yeah, you know, it was a rural fire call." And I said, "Right, do you want to fill the tanker up from the hydrant in town, or should we go you know, do the portable pumps?" And he said, "We'll do the portable pumps." Well, three times I went out with him, and three times we did these pumps. I still had to show him what to do, and I was just a firefighter, and he was a qualified firefighter with stripes on his shoulders, and he still didn't know what to do. And it's, it, you know, wow. a lot of it comes back down to that, yo, how much you can drink, and yo, the quicker you get your stripes on the shoulders. But and as far as like the bullying side of things, I didn't see the bullying so much, but it was more if a younger, or a, not necessarily younger, but. Um, a new brigade member had, um, you know, wasn't sure on a question, you know, or wasn't sure on a topic, they'd go and uh, you know, talk to the seniors, oh, how do you do this, how do you do that? They were sort of ridiculed, sort of thing, if that's the right word, because, oh, we'll just, um, you know, it's like you should know this, it's written in the book, but there's, there's yep. a, with life, there's a difference, you know, there is a wonderful thing. And like I had, I, I was just a firefighter. That's all I wanted to do was turn up, respond to calls, fight fires, help with medical things, and that sort of thing. So I didn't have stripes on my shoulders or anything. But the younger, younger, or not so, not the younger ones, the newer members would come up to me and say, "Oh, Robbie, how do you do this or how do you do that?" We just go, you know, we we need to know and get it right, but we don't want to go to the higher ups because we'll get um, you know, the sort of piss taken out of it out of us for it. How long ago did you leave the fire service, Robbie? Um, I left, I've oh, been in Ashburton, I'll oh, be about seven years ago. Did you enjoy the job? Oh yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. it was, Why did you leave? Because um, there's two things in that, but I um, relocated from where I was into Ashburton. Um, to well, they have a fire service in Ashburton, couldn't you get a transfer inside the service? No, there was um, 17 or 17 other um, people on the waiting list in Ashburton, and some some of the, some of them were station officers and senior officers that were want, wanting to transfer as well. So they're not going to take on a you know, a firefighter when they could you know, t take on a you know, qualified or a you know, station officer sort of thing. Um, so do you think the culture in the fire service is going to improve now that it's got a new name and now that it's got a new boss and now that they've had this report? Do you think a leopard can change its spots, that a culture can change after what's been written and reported about it in the last few days? No, not at all. No. Really? No.